It's the Wendy Williams Show. Friday, a comfortable shirt dress. I'm good. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. There's nothing worse than having lip, lip, lipstick on your teeth. We had a guest recently, and I was not the girlfriend. I was too embarrassed to tell her she was on the couch. I can't tell you which one, but I'm talking facts. She did the whole interview with lipstick on her teeth, and I, well, because I admire her so much, you know, I, you know, I could tell Cardi B she has lipstick on her teeth, but I'm not gonna tell like a Queen Latifah, you know, an icon or somebody like that. So, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> so speaking of Cardi, apparently there is a new war going on. Oh. Started by none other than my Puerto Rican princess, Jocelyn Hernandez oh. from Love and Hip Hop. Now, I don't know whether Jocelyn will still be on the show because remember when the last season ended, which I didn't see that episode, but I was reminded by the Bureau that Jocelyn basically told them, I don't need you and I'm out. So I don't know whether she'll be back or not. Earlier this year, Stevie J cl did claim though, on camera, that Jocelyn was jealous of Cardi B's success. Oh, oh God. I hate being caught in the middle of this because I like both girls, but I'm a straight shooter, so let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Jocelyn goes into the studio and does a diss track about Cardi B. Oh. Get your Q-tips because your ears might start bleeding. Oh. Uh, I heard the song. She, oh, we're not gonna play the song? No. Oh, okay. No. All right, well, I heard it. And there's, my office is a bloody mess. <laughs> she raps about dragging a Bronx bitch. Now that could either be Cardi or Remy. And I suspect, no, she's not coming from Remy. <laughs> Especially when we have receipts that, first of all, both girls look similar. And second of all, Stevie already said, that um, Jocelyn is jealous of, of uh, uh, Cardi. She's talking her, more of her lyrics, like who's co-signing this hoe? <laughs> yeah. I think that she's trying to attach herself to Cardi because Cardi is the next bis, uh, big thing. And, and if I were Cardi, I would not clap back. You've moved out of that lane in life. Uh, they had similar come-ups. Both girls came from the pole. <laughs> Not judging, just giving you information. <laughs> you know, but Cardi was only on Love and Hip Hop for a moment and then she ended up, you know, leaving and now she's got this grand career. But she's got one foot on the banana peel too. Cause Cardi, you know, Bodak Yella, great song. Your other songs that you've been on, or to the best of me, they were all collabos. 
it's too early in the game for a newbie to be collaboing and for us to co-sign on her. Cause anybody can get in the studio with, you know, Redman and sound good. Or, or, or I'm just saying, or LL Cool J and sound good. I, heck, I could do that. Yeah. In the beginning of your career, it's what you do for yourself. To me, collaborations, honestly, are mid-career, top of your career where you can just, you know, sit in the house, darling, and, and just, just uh, oh, hello? Oh, Fat Joe? Oh, yes. No, of course, we've both been in the game for 30 years. I'm coming through, I'll, I'll do that collabo. But Cardi, mm, don't be, um, who's the girl from Australia whose name Nathalia. I- Nathalia. Right. <laughs> exactly. You know, you're, you're hot and then you're not. And I'm sorry to say, cause he's a friend to the show, but designer. Yes. Designer allegedly has new music. He's got a new album coming out uh, sometime next year. But right now we basically only know designer for- um, Panda. Panda, right, and he, and, he, and he came here and he did Panda and he bought his family and it was all cute, but now, what you gonna do? And you can best believe that, um, who's that cute boy with one eye from Patterson, New Jersey? <laughs> Look, Fetty Wap did a few things, but now he's in the clink. He can't keep himself out of trouble. By the time he gets out of jail, nobody will care because they're manufacturing these rappers, these people all the time. And Jocelyn, I'm sorry that you're, it does seem like you could be jealous at Cardi B. Cardi B is living that high life and Cardi don't, I repeat, please don't clap back at Jocelyn. Don't do it. Okay, so now, moving on. We're multitasking, it's Friday. I'm trying to get out of here right after the show. <laughs> Anders is here, he's doing a photo shoot. <laughs> what do I want for staying around after the show posing? You know what I mean, Anders? We get it together. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you. So look. It pains me to talk about the following also. Cause I know her. Ooh, the R&B legend, Stephanie Mills. Is speaking out about the state of R&B today. Now you take a look at what she said. Now Stephanie is 60. 60 even. 60 even, okay. So, <laughs> 60 even. <laughs> So she was on a show uh, that I've also appeared on. It's called Sister Circle Live. It comes out of Atlanta. And take a look at what Stephanie says and then we'll discuss, go ahead. What is your, your take on the state of music right now in our climate? I think they want R&B, but they don't want it from us. Ooh. You know, they want okay, it. Okay, it's over. We're they, done. They want it from Adele and Justin Timberlake and, and those people. A shady cameraman shows all the white people. <laughs> I can't take this show. So stupid. But here's my thought. This is not a black white thing. This is an ageism thing. Stephanie, you're 60. Nobody wants to hear from you today. They don't appreciate you. I appreciate you. You put a little rush on me. <laughs> okay? And who doesn't need the comfort of a man? But Steph, they give, they give this music to these kids because first of all, white people are now, you all have gotten smart. <laughs> you're starting to work with some bass in your music, unlike back in the day, and you're working with black producers or just really cool producers who get the rhythm of the streets. Yes, people wanna work with Justin Timberlake because Justin Timberlake is a, an honorary soul brother number none. You know? And yeah. 
And people want to work with Adele because Adele is young and relevant. Ah, I'm sorry, Stephanie. This is not a color thing. This is a, this is an age thing. Clap if you agree with me, and don't do it just because you're here. Okay. But clap if you think that this is a color thing. Don't put the camera on her. I don't know who that was. Sorry, Steph. You look beautiful, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mama June oh. wants to be the new face of health and fitness. Oh. Now, let me get through the story. All right. So people are saying that she wants to share her fitness and diet secrets to help people, or that helped her lose 300 pounds. Well, did she forget about the gastric sleeve? <laughs> Right? She got the gastric sleeve, she got a breast lift, she got a tummy tuck, not a full, like she got the around the world girl. Oh. A tummy back tuck thing, thing. She got skin removed on her arms and neck and you wanna be the face of physical fitness? Like we have to put this in perspective because even my own son says, well mommy, you're skinny, but you cheated. And I'm like, okay, I gained 103 pounds with you, but I've learned how to keep it off. But I do feel guilty, like I'm not going to be the Jane Fonda, you know, because I'll be honest with you with what I did and hopefully you wouldn't take advice from me regarding um, the absolute, absolute of physical fitness because I cheated and so did she. And, and also I forgot the new teeth. Notice the yellowation of it all? And then the white there. She looks really pretty though. I wonder if she's put Honey Boo Boo on a diet. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, Honey Boo Boo. By the way, so when Vince was here the other day um, with um, Remy, so during commercial break he comes out and we hug and stuff, and I whispered him, I'm like, Vince, you look really good. I said, did you get the surgery? Because I couldn't tell. I mean, I know he got the sleeve, but you know, the around the world girl. You, you, you know, the tuck, getting rid of the skin. I said, did you get the surgery? And so he said, no, not yet. So everything was tucked real tight then, you know, you know, tucked and spanked or something. <laughs> but he said he's going to get it. And I looked at him, I was like, he said, you don't think so? I was like, that's between you and Tamar. <laughs> but um, based on the blood clots and all kinds of other health issues, this could be the surgery that kills him. But then what do you do? Walk around with a bunch of skin tucked in your socks? <laughs> I'm sorry, Vince. I know you can take a joke, but you know you and I talked and I don't want you to get this. All right, that's between you all. Anyway, Mama June, first of all, clap if you would take, and, and please be honest, if you would take physical advice, because she's kept the weight off, she's apparently changed her way of eating, you know, and she's ready to advise you. Would you take that advice? Clap if you would. Clap if you would. And you're low key about it too. Don't put the camera on her. <laughs> So anyway, um, and by the way, I'll be watching at least the first episode, but I'm not gonna share it with you because I'm not sure whether this is share worthy. It'll be like my secret watching. Mama June from not to hot. I don't even care about seeing her dating. You know, she's made some really poor choices. Ergo, the criminal records of it all. From hot to not begins uh, the, its second season in January. <laughs> so our girl Taraji just signed on to star in a movie called What Men Want.
Well, she's going to play a woman. This is based off of a film that was made many, many years ago with Mel Gibson. It was called What Women Want. And the premise when Mel did it is that he had some mystical power where he was able to hear in the minds of what women were thinking regarding men. So now it's coming back. And Taraji's gonna play the woman who suddenly gains the ability to hear men's thoughts. And I thought, at, at first, I thought that this is a great idea. Like, I would love that. I would not be uh, embarrassed. I would feel like I have a leg up on the game. Okay, so what do you all like? Uh, you know, imagine you have green hair and you're 35 years old and he's, you know, uh, you know a sophisticated you know, Wall Street man and he's thinking in his mind, damn, her conversation is so good, her education is so good, but I can't take her to the Christmas party with green damn hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a tiara. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I thought it was a good idea. Then I changed my mind, you know why? It wasn't even about what men think about women. It was about, if you can read all my thoughts, then you can read all my thoughts all day. Cause I'm not thinking about men all day. There's other stuff I'm thinking about. And that's the more personal stuff that I want to keep away from you. <laughs> yes. And, and also, I had to think deeper. I was like, you know, the only thing we really have these days is our own thoughts. We don't have our social media that could be hacked. We don't have our credit cards. We don't have our children. They flee the scene or turn on us. <laughs> you, know, you know, we don't have love everlasting unless we really fight for it. We really don't have, you know, we don't have our parents because they pass away or they don't love us or whatever. <laughs> Not judging. But you know what I mean? The only thing that we really, really own is our thoughts. So while I will watch this movie, I'm against the idea. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, clear your calendar. We'll watch together. Not that, I'm talking about something new. <laughs> There's a new series from uh, uh, Ryan Murphy. Now you know he was behind OJ and Glee and so he does good TV. The series is, I, per, I think, eight episodes. Designer, the legendary, rest in peace, Gianni Versace. <laughs> Remember? It was early in the morning and he went to get the paper and maybe an egg sandwich or something like that, just innocent. There in Miami, he walked by himself and then he was murdered by Andrew Cunanan. 20 years ago this was. Well, all our people are involved with this movie we must watch, starring Ricky Martin. Oh. Now, Ricky is not playing Gianni, he's playing Gianni's partner, Antonio D'Amico. Uh, the guy who's playing Gianni is an unknown guy, but this could be his role. This could be his big break, he better do it up. Um, Penelope Cruz plays Gianni's sister, Donatella. And Darren Chris, who Ryan Murphy, who's producing this, um, hired to be one of the Glee actors. So Darren Chris is playing uh, the murderer, <laughs> Andrew Cunanan. The trailer was just released. Happy weekend. Shortly before 9 a.m., fashion designer Gianni Versace was shot. He was a creator, he was a genius. Everything you see around us, this house, this company, it was his life. I will not allow that man, that nobody, to kill my brother twice. Andrew Cunanan, 27 years old, he's killed four men. This world has wasted me, and yet this world also made you, Mr. Versace, into a star. You're not better than me, we're the same. The only difference is that you got lucky.
So it's called The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story. It premieres January 17th on FX. Thank you, Ryan Murphy. All right, so, you know, Thanksgiving and Black Friday are just around the corner, which means it's time to start thinking about holiday shopping. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm gonna get my shopping done early, and Walmart has great deals in stores right now. Yeah. You know, just a few little something somethings. I'm not spending a bunch of money, but I'm really excited for this Apple Watch. My husband loves watches of all different price ranges, and this Apple Watch is only $199. It does stuff. You know, young Kevin, the HP laptop. Why not? He's going off to college next year. It's the perfect way for him to round out his senior year in high school and, and enter into college. That's only $199. And for, for moi, <laughs> I've got a very special room in our house. It's my mom cave. It always smells perfumey and beautiful and everything is so girly, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I have one TV in there, it's gigantic. But I want a second TV. You know, I want to be able to watch a few things at one time. I don't know how to do the picture in picture. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install a second TV in my mom cave and Walmart has the Philips 55 inch smart TV. That's for me. <laughs> this is the perfect way to top off, you know, the holidays and hot topics. And you know, the, oh, I'm sorry, the TV is, uh, I said 199, no, that was the computer. The TV is $398 there at Walmart. And Walmart, thank you so much for making it easier than ever to shop for the ho holidays. Now look, later on during the show, everybody, two audience members are going to compete <laughs> for a chance to win some amazing Walmart prizes. And you know how we compete here at Wendy. We get down. Yeah. Thank you, Walmart. Yeah. All right, so now it's time to play Wendy's Tropical Punch giveaway. Come on out. Beautiful beaches, so I set up a little shop. Suzanne sells seashells by the seashore, and I'm selling them. Hold on, I have a phone call. Hello? <laughs> Let's get our caller on the line. You want to know something? Do you want to buy some? No, no, I don't buy them. We collect them. Oh, I'll give you some. And I have a bucket full of when hello. young Kevin was young, and we collect them, and it's in the garage. Um, hello, Lucille? Yes? I love your name. You're here in New York, McGillicuddy? <laughs> would, that, would that be your last That's name? That's one of my favorite characters, Lucille Ball, but guess who's Lucille? Course. Who's this? Hi, Lucille. How you doing? It's Wendy. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Today's my birthday, and Wendy is calling me? Happy birthday. Oh, my goodness. This, this is a joke, isn't it? Well, this is your day then, okay, so. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Wendy. Uh, how you doing? How you doing, Lucille? <laughs> So now you watch our show every day, I know, here in New York on WNYW. Now you have to pick a number between one and 20 to find out what you're playing for, okay? Oh my goodness, can't be no other number but 17. You know what, it's number a crime to sell shells. It is? By the way. It, like oh, in my mind. I'll close They're my shop. They're all out there on the beach. I'm gonna close my shop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stupid. 17? Yes. Drum roll, please. Where are you going, Lucille? Where are you going? Thanks to our friends at Barbados Tourism Marketing, Inc., we're flying you and a guest on JetBlue Airways to Barbados for a six-day, five-night stay at the all-inclusive Mango Bay, Barbados. This boutique-style property is located in the historic Whole Town area on the famed Gold Coast of Barbados, boasting spacious accommodations, a centrally located swimming pool, delicious dining, and relaxing spa. Mango Bay offers it all. Nearby St. James offers a lively nightlife experience. Plus, for the adventure of a lifetime, you'll get to explore the underwater world during a VIP dive with Atlantis Submarines Barbados. Yeah! All right, Lucille. Yeah! Yeah! Here's your question, and you're only gonna have 15 seconds to answer. Okay. Jason Biggs, who I love, was our guest on yesterday's show. What did his wife give him for his a birthday? Oh. 
She said it with disgust. Yes. Yes. Lucille, and funny to me. <laughs> enjoy yeah. Barbados. Bar enjoy Barbados, Lucille. Yes. If you wanna uh, be a winner like Lucille, you gotta watch the show every day because we could be calling you next. We've got more great show for you today. Up next, the very funny, already friend to the show so he knows where he is. Give him the business. Gary Owen yes. is here. Grab a snack and come on.